We're following through with the latest on the killing of a young father this week in Akron. He was just a good hearted person and um, he was a, he was family oriented. Police continue to look for suspects in the killing of 26 year old Carlos Goodno. We were told that a group of people, as many as two or three, ran from the location after the incident. Now we're hearing from a woman who worked in the nursing field who tried to save Carlos. I wanted to give my condolences to Carlos family, you know, let him know that mother that I, I understand, I feel her pain, you know, and I shed her tears. What happened that day was very personal for that nurse. Tonight News 5's Bob Jones tells us she is praying for justice for a couple of reasons. We want to warn you right now that what you're about to see can be tough to watch. I heard three shots. I heard someone shooting. Cynthia Hobdy Harmon heard that gunfire while visiting a friend at a West Akron home Monday afternoon. She came outside and discovered a shooting victim, a young father named Carlos Goodno, not breathing. Family members say Carlos had come to Bellevue Avenue to sell shoes after agreeing to a meetup. And I was praying that this young man would survive because I said this is another mother's child. Body camera video shows Cynthia, who worked in the nursing field for many years, quickly take action. Showing her compassion, teaming up with an officer to perform CPR, even praying at one point. You release your spirit back to the Father who created you. Why did you feel compelled to jump in and take action? Because I have taken care of people all my life. Sadly, Carlos did not survive and the gunman got away. Cynthia says while she was performing CPR, she saw the face of her son, Leonte Hobdi. When I looked at that young man, Carlos, I, it's just like my son's face came before me, you know, and it, it's hard to explain. Cynthia understands the pain of losing a child. He was always the type of person that um, people loved, so many people loved him. In 2016, Leonte, who was a 38-year-old father of three, was shot to death outside of an Akron bar. Almost eight years later, his killing remains unsolved. Do you have hope that you're going to get justice? Yes, I, I believe that. Captain Michael Miller feels for Cynthia over her loss and is also inspired by her selfless actions this week. To be as uh, compassionate and loving to offer him though that prayer just in that in the in those uh, waning moments uh, very commendable Miller says detectives are following new leads in Carlos's death and Leonte's murder case remains open we would love nothing more to solve her case in any other unsolved homicide over the years Cynthia has put her feelings to paper as she waits for a break in her son's case I shed your tears sleepless nights wondering why this way and she prays that justice will come for her and for Carlos's family. I know it is very challenging, but know that you have a mother that is with you in prayer, and there's many other mothers that are praying. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. Anybody with information on this week's murder or the murder case from 2016 is asked to call Akron Police or the Summit County Crime Stoppers. You see the number on your screen there, 330-434-COPS.